What's up guys, Cornerd here. Today we're actually going to be taking a look at some cool SkyDrive features. And if you don't know about the Sky computing, or <laughs> excuse me, cloud computing, Sky computing might be a Microsoft coin term. But anyways, if you don't know about this type of technology, it is really, if you think of it as you can get your files from anywhere. And let's say, for example, I start typing something on Microsoft Word. I go to my laptop, um, and then when I come home from typing in something in Microsoft Word from my laptop, I can access that on my desktop. So it's very, very handy to use uh, cloud computing in a way. And cloud computing, if not to get too technical here, but it's kind of cool. Uh, cloud computing is pretty much connecting to a server where all your personal information is stored. Now, that might sound kind of freaky for some people, and I understand that most of the time it is pretty pretty decent for privacy and everything like that but I don't know I still have this feeling that we're gonna still have hard drives but a lot of the stuff that we use daily for like schoolwork or for even for some work will get stored in the cloud per se but the cloud is nothing more than computers dedicated to storing your files and you're accessing them via a client such as Google Drive, Dropbox, which you may already be using, and newly, it's probably the newest member in the gang other than um, Google Drive would be Microsoft SkyDrive. Now, SkyDrive is cool. I personally like SkyDrive quite a bit more than Dropbox and quite a bit more than Google Drive for a couple of reasons. One, I haven't had an issue with upload speeds. Google Drive seems to have upload speeds that are not exactly the fastest in the world. Also, it's more integrated with Windows. Now, I will also say this, if you're under uh, using Mac OS X, in fact, it's actually called OS X, then you're probably going to want to wait, I would say, because right now, I don't know, I still think they ha iCloud hasn't really reached the greatest effect. I own a Mac, and I have to say, I'm not exactly the world's biggest fan of iCloud. However, I do like the features of owning an iPhone, taking a picture, and having that transferred automatically. Now, I will say iCloud is available, I don't think I have it on here, for the PC. So you can use your iPhone to take pictures. It will appear automatically on your PC and sync between iDevices. Now, for Windows 8, which is coming out believe October 26 which is next Friday if I'm not mistaken it will introduce a lot of the features of what iCloud does and I already have it installed called SkyDrive but it'll be integrated into Windows 8 now Windows 8 is a lot different from your standard version of Windows in fact pretty much get used to learning something new because that's what Windows 8 is unless you have a touch now it, it will Windows 8 does in fact, utilize the cloud a lot more than Windows 7 does. And I would say that it they really did do a good job in integrating the cloud, if you will, with Windows 8, because it's going to be very, very cool to sync. If you owned a Windows phone and a Windows tablet and a Windows PC, you're going to be able to sync everything together. So, to demonstrate this, I think the best way is to take a look at the new version of Word. Even... Word 2010 does this if you have SkyDrive, but I really, really think we should take a look at the new version of Word and see how it integrates with the cloud. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click on Word 2013, which again, you can check my website. I there will, there will also be a link in the description as far as Word 2013, and I will be going into more previews, uh, reviews actually of the preview later, see how well it does. Now, right from the get-go, we actually have cloud support. Now, this is very cool because their templates are stored in the cloud or really on the internet, if you want to be. Cloud computing has been around for a while, but this is just more utilizing what we have. So as you can see, I have a bunch of miscellaneous templates, resume, um, if you want to create a resume, probably school report. Be good, because I'm going to have to do that along with a lot many a lot of other things so let's say we were doing a book report so I'm gonna double click on that now I haven't I don't have any of this information on my computer but now I do because of 
what is stored on the internet and what I can download, and it's also integrated into Office 2013, which is very cool. Again, Office 2013 is sent to launch with Windows 8. Um, it might not launch at the same time, but you get the scope of things. They pretty much want you to use the cloud. So, I just downloaded this from a website that was integrated on my Word program. So, let's go ahead and start editing this. And This is a test. Or, let's actually use it in a real sense. Let's do the book Halloween, because, yeah, it's Halloween. Um, also, I want to change this uh, to be orange and blue, because, you know, that just would suit it a lot better, in my opinion. So let's see if I can do that. Now, this is a new version. I will be going into a day where I pretty much have time to play with everything that's new, but I think it's under format. And we can go ahead and start changing this to be a specific color here. I'm guessing that if I go into the fill, see it is a little bit different. Um, if I click on gradient and I go more gradients, I can choose my color of orange. So let's choose, let's go to more colors. More colors, not red. Let's do more of an orange color. And this is probably better off to do something like orange. So that's a little better. Hit OK. Now I've got more blue, so let's deal with some black. Let's see if I can change that color. So we're going to change it to black. And then a third one we're going to change to more of a darker orange. Maybe closer to a red. So let's go ahead and just do that here. So more of a, okay, so change the tone here. Now, probably something like a blood red because it is Halloween. So, yeah, I'm wasting a lot of time, but as you can see, I mean, I am showing some of the features of Word. This is kind of cool. This gives it more of a mist feeling to it. So this is Halloween. Uh, let's say the author is John Car uh, Carpenter, if I even know how to spell that. There we go, or E-R. And, yeah, it's very cool what you can do with this. So I, I just edited something here. So let's go ahead and see about my save options now. That is a little quick little tip, by the way, to know how to change the colors on that stuff. So Windows uh, 8 actually has a lot to deal with the Metro interface, which it's no longer called. However, so so is Office 2013, and it's more square. They're trying to be more simple. So if I click on File... The one thing I don't like about it is the fact that it takes me out of my document. What if I want to see my document while I'm editing it? I can't do that. So that's one thing I don't like about it, but let's go ahead and see what we have here. So we have a couple of options. We have protect mode. You can control what type of changes you can make to the document. Inspect the document for any errors or, or grammatical errors, I should say. And we also have save. Now, save export as well. So let's go ahead and save as. And look, right within the actual program, I can save to my SkyDrive. And yes, you know my real name. So, basically, I can save to my SkyDrive account by simply hitting Browse, and it'll open up within SkyDrive. Now, as you can see, I have a bunch of lists of my other documents. I can also make folders, and this will follow me anywhere I go. So, let's actually go ahead and create a folder called um, School. Even though there's already a school, it'll take just a second for it to sync up. Probably hit the refresh button, it'll be all set here. And we're going to save this as me. Give it a second to save. Now, hopefully this won't freeze in the process. So now it's saving to the cloud. It already, as you can see, it's actually telling me it's uploading. And no files are ready to upload because it's already uploaded. So let's go ahead and if we went on another laptop and I clicked open, it would already sync up. So the only quick way I can show you this is to pretty much go to SkyDrive and access my files off of the internet. 
instead of on my web browser. So this would be in a situation, let's say, you were at a college campus and you didn't have your computer with you and you need to log in. So you can just log into your SkyDrive account and I'm actually going to put my stuff separate here. Just log in with my username and password. Okay. So, now as you can see, all my documents are here. And it's very, very, very cool as far as what I can access here. So, if I go under school and I click that, I'm going to hit join the preview and that'll basically, I think, let me just... I'll double check and see if nothing personal is here. And as you can see, my file that I started editing, although it took me about 10 minutes just to explain it, <laughs> basically is right here. So it does pretty well, and it does it fast. Now, what's really cool is you can start editing the document, too, within your Word app or the, um, excuse me, either Word, which is what you use you know, on your desktop, or your Word app, which is what you can use within the actual browser. Now this is kind of cool, this is a preview. So it is very close, I would say. I'm not seeing all of the document, so that's interesting. To Word, it is free, keep that in mind online. I think they're gonna have better ways of dealing with this, but if you need to make a quick change, this is a really cool way to do it. So let me first start by saying that this technology isn't that new. In fact, like I said, it's already existed within Google Documents, which now they call it Drive. So you can pretty much edit anything you want within Google Drive as well. So if I just go, let's say, to the Untitled Document, same thing pops up here. I mean, it's better, in my opinion, to use SkyDrive because you have everything synchronized with your desktop and your laptop, and it's more embedded within the operating system is probably the best way I can explain it. So if you would like to start using this program and try to use your SkyDrive, you can just go ahead and download the SkyDrive client and log in and just download the client. So I will include a link in the description. But as you can see, that's really the aim of Windows 8, I would say, is try to really integrate the cloud. And everybody's pushing the cloud. Well, I think we need to start looking at that option too as well and I definitely think cloud computing is getting very very close to actual use on a daily basis I mean I use it for school all the time so yeah like I said it's very very cool to take a look at these features of the new Microsoft operating system and the new Microsoft Office so that was just a quick preview of the SkyDrive features of what you can do and it's think of it just as your place where you can save your files and they will be synced all together everywhere. So that's pretty much it, guys. Definitely comment, like, and subscribe to my channel. I will be doing more videos constantly if you're into tech. I will be getting a webcam soon, soon enough so we can actually record in 1080p with a Logitech C920. So that'll be pretty cool. And yeah, definitely watch these videos and I will continue to create more content. Thank you guys very much for watching this video. Cornered here, your source for tech.